In part one of this video, uh, we started solving the system of equations 4x minus 3y plus 2z equals negative 29, 6x plus 2y minus z equals negative 16, and negative 8x minus y plus 3z equals 23. And we solved it by saying we wanted to eliminate the same variable twice, and we selected z for no other reason than we thought we could get opposites in front of z relatively easily so that it would eliminate. And so we used equations 1 and 2 and eliminated z. Then we used equations 2 and 3 and we eliminated z, and that gave us two equations, an a and a b, which had two variables. And so we could combine those equations together and solve them like we've solved other equations with two variables and two unknowns. We got opposites in front of the y's, and we solved that for x. And right about then, we ran out of time uh, with these five-minute videos. And so this part two video just is going to quickly go back, and we're going to find y and z. Finding y is we're going to stay in this a, b range, and probably going back to one of the original equations. It doesn't matter which. So let's go to this bottom one, which is 10x. X we found out in the first video was negative 4 plus 5y equals negative 25. Well, 10 times negative 4 is negative 40 plus 5y is negative 25. And so if we add 40 to both sides, we get 5y equals 15. And then we can divide both sides by 5, and we now have our y value of 3. Now that we've solved that a, b system, we know what x and y are. Now we're ready to go all the way back up to the beginning and solve one of these equations. I'm going to stick it in this bottom right corner and then probably do some more scrolling so that we can see what we're doing. But, uh... We're looking for z. We have x and y, so let's just plug it into equation 1. 4x, x we found out was negative 4, minus 3y, y we just found out was 3, plus 2z, and I'm going to go off my screen here in a minute. I'll come back to it, I promise, equals negative 29. And so, give me a second to do a little scrolling. Scrolling there, now we can see everything. We just need to solve what's left to get our answers. Multiplying negative 16 minus 9 plus 2z equals negative 29. Combining like terms, negative 25 plus 2z is negative 29. It's a two-step equation. We'll add 25 to both sides. Gives us 2z equals negative 4 and finally divide both sides by 2 to find out that z is equal to negative 2. And so we finally have our ordered pair of solutions, x, y, z. x is negative 4, y is 3, z is negative 2. This is the combination of numbers that makes the original three equations true equations. We found that solution by eliminating the same variable twice, z, and then solving the resulting system for those two variables.